Hi guys, this is Darren from the Filter Shop. Uh, today I'm going to be taking you through the programming of our water softener valve head uh, model F63B3. Um, if you're not sure which valve head you have, um, the indicators of this uh, being the B3 versus the B1 valve head. The B1 doesn't have the on top indicator or the little um, turning knob at the top. Also a difference between the two is that the B1 doesn't have uh, these two little connections at the back one of which you see here has a small little turbine in here now that's to measure flow but I'll show you in the programming where that comes in okay another way you can know which of the two valve heads you have is when you turn it on Let's see just a few moments and I'll bring up the model number which is the F63B3 okay Alright, first off, when you first hook up the valve head uh, and turn it on, you'll see it's just sitting uh, in normal operation, nothing's been set as of yet. The valve head does have a capacitor inside which gives you three days of memory. So if there's a power outage for more than three days, everything will reset back to factory settings. If it's less than three days, then your settings should be saved. Okay, now if we leave the valve head for just a little bit, what should happen is that the valve head should go into its locked form. Um, okay guys you can see now the valve head is locked with this little key icon glowing so if I press anything here nothing nothing's going to happen okay now to unlock the valve head in order to do the programming you just hold down both the up and down button until you hear an audible beep okay now the valve head is unlocked uh, to enter the settings you will press on this little set button here press once Okay, now the little spanner icons come on showing you that it's ready to be um, programmed. You can also see that the little progress bar is stopped because it's not in normal operation now. It's frozen while you're doing the programming. Now the first thing that's going to come up is the time. Now you want to set this to the time of day. Now this is set by minutes, okay? So I'm going to click this once because it's actually one quarter past one in the afternoon. So I'm going to press up change the 12 to 13 it is a 24 hour clock okay so that's one o'clock and it's actually 15 I press that little button again to go to the minutes press twice to go to 15 okay I'm happy with that and now I'm gonna press this again to get out of it you can see the little spanner stopped flashing and now it's set to quarter past one okay so that's the first setting done if you go down one you'll come to this AO1 now this you can leave, you don't need to change this, you don't need to stress about this. Uh, most domestic situations, uh, it's not really necessary, so you can just go past that. Okay, now this HU01. Now what this is, is what I referred to earlier with regards to the little turbine which is at the back of this valve head. This is going to give you what your measurements will be for the flow rate. Currently it's set to HU01, which is cube, uh, liters cubed. Okay, um, if you want to change it, you just, uh, sorry, press the wrong button there. You would press set once. Okay, you see that's flashing and so is a little spanner. Okay, and I want to change it to liters. Okay, so it'll actually give me the how many liters have gone through the softener, which is HU03, and there's a little L here, which is now indicated. If you uh, prefer to go by gallons, just press it go there, and you've got HU02, and then it's going to give you the gallons that have gone through the softener. Now, this valve head uh, versus the B1 model um, has a nice little feature with regards to this, where if your uh, flow rate going through the vessel um, reaches a, a certain amount before it gets to the number of days that you wanted to do the regeneration, it'll go through that regeneration. So that's quite a nice feature of the B3 valve, valve head. Okay, okay, I'm happy with, uh, I want to go back to liters. I'm happy with liters. I'm going to press set. Okay, now it's locked. Now it's going to measure the, the flow through the valve head, uh, through the vessel uh, in liters. Okay. Now this is the time of day it's going to do the regeneration. Okay, so at the moment it's set to two o'clock in the morning. Again, this is a 24 hour clock. I'm quite happy with two, two in the morning, but if you do want to change it, again, you would just go click once to change the hours, whether it's one o'clock or three o'clock. As I say, this is a 24 hour clock, so you can see there's 23 hours and there's 24 hours, okay. But I'm happy with two. Um, I don't want to change the minutes, but if you did, again, just change it to 59 minutes or one minute, whatever your particular uh, preference is. Obviously, you want to set this to whatever time no one's going to require water, because when it's doing its regeneration, there will be no water coming out of the softener. Okay, all right, I'm happy with that. So set, the spanner stops flashing. Okay, I'm ready to go to the next setting. All right, now here is the flow. So right now, it's set to 10,000 meters. Okay, so it means 
until 10,000 liters have gone through this vessel, it's not going to do the regeneration. Or if 10,000 liters go through the, the vessel, or it reaches the days before regeneration, it's going to, to go and regenerate. So I'm going to set this valve head. I just want to go down quickly just to show you. I want to set this valve head. This Right now it's set to 30 days. Okay. Um, but I want to set it to 7 days. Okay. And I'll explain quickly. I just want to do this. You can hold the button down to go quicker through the numbers as well. And that's for all the settings. Okay. So I want to set it now 7 days. Okay. So this is setting the, the number of days before regeneration. Okay, so again, sorry, I jumped a few steps here, but I just wanted to show you this for, for giving you an idea of it. So if I get to seven days, it's going to go at two o'clock in the morning, it's going to do its regeneration. Or, and I just want to go back up, if it gets to 10,000 liters go through the vessel before that seven days, it's going to go through the regeneration. So it's going to give you a nice little thing, because if you know that after this many liters I need to do a regeneration, you can set it to that. And all you would need to do is again just click set and then you would change it to whatever your literage requirements and again if you want to go quicker through it you just hold the button down either way and it'll quickly rush through those numbers um, so it's quite a nice little feature of the 63b3 um, i'm going to leave it in 10,000 liters for for the sake of this video um, but you can always change that if you want to okay now i'll go through the next steps that i skipped earlier okay so this is your backwash okay it's preset to 10 minutes um, this setting is in minutes, okay? So if I want to change this to go, say, 11 minutes for the sake of this video, I will then click and press up. Now I'm going through. So right now it's going through seconds, okay? Not minutes, it's going through seconds. So, whoops, a little too quick there. If you do, if you do hold it down, it will rush and speed up. Um, so when you get to a certain point, it is a bit difficult. You can over jump your mark a little bit. Um, so you just need to be careful of that, as I'm just showing you, it's easy to do. Okay, so there. So it means that when it runs, I'm going to say set. So when it goes through its backwash, it's going to take 11 minutes to go through that backwash, and then it's going to go on to the next stage. Now the next stage is your regeneration. Now this is the most important part. This is where the brine mixture is taken out of the softener, um, the, uh, the soft, softener's uh, brine tank, which is the salt and water mixture, and mixed with the cation resin, regenerating it for the next cycle. It is set to 60 minutes um, factory settings. Again, if you want to change it, again, it's in seconds you'll be changing it. So now it's 59 minutes and 59 seconds or it's 60 minutes and one second. Um, I wouldn't recommend changing this one straight away. You can change it to about half an hour if you're doing your regenerations quite often, but I would recommend keeping it on, on the 60 minutes, okay? I'm happy with 60 minutes. I'm gonna press and now it's set. Okay, this is the brine refill. You can see it with the little arrow showing the brine refill being be, um, uh, refilling the tank. Okay, so what it's doing now is putting water back into the brine tank. Um, five minutes should be enough. Um, it doesn't take long to fill the brine tank, so I wouldn't bother changing it, but if you want to, just press it once, you go through here, go through here, and that's, that's fine, okay, but I'm happy with five minutes, so I'm going to leave it. Okay, the final stage is your fast rinse, okay, indicated by that little item there. So, it's set to ten minutes right now, um, you can change it if you want to, you can make it a little shorter if, if you want to, um, I wouldn't recommend it at first. Uh, it's something you can play with later on, um, but I'm happy with it at 10 minutes. I'm going to leave it at 10 minutes. Okay, press set. Now it's all set. Okay, go down. This is the days that we already went through earlier in the video, um, and this is your number of backwashes. Now, B01, really, for most domestic applications, you only need it to backwash once, so I wouldn't bother changing this unless you've had a conversation with Filter Shop and we've, we've recommended otherwise. Okay, and then there. Okay, now. If you leave the valve head to stand, um, you will see that uh, it takes a couple a couple of moments. You'll see that uh, it'll relock and it'll show you the progress bar again. Okay, so we can see now the valve head is relocked. It's shown the little progress bar, so it's now in normal functionality. Everything is set. It's got the little hourglass showing it's in operation, and you can see the little key here is now locked. So this stops anyone from changing any settings or, or anything like that. Okay, you can see it's showing here your liters per uh, per uh, minute going through here. At the moment, there's no water flowing through it, so it's, it's saying naught. Um, it also cycle through and show you the time of day that it currently is as well. Um, what it will also show you, at least it should show you, is the time that it's set to do its regeneration, which should show you two two o'clock in the morning. Wait for that to come up here, there we are. That's two o'clock in the morning, so it's showing you that's what it's set to do its regeneration at. Okay. 
Okay, one last thing I want to show you with the uh, F63B3 valve head is how you can manually um, force it through its cycles if you feel that you need to regenerate before it gets to the whatever the 10,000 liters or the 7 days or whatever you've set it to. Um, one way is to turn this little knob at the top, you only need to turn it three little turns and you'll feel it grip. Um, but you can do a little bit of wear damage in that, so I wouldn't recommend that. The best way to do it is unlock the valve here, which you did, I've already done, which is normally by holding the up and down, down until you get that audible beep. And then you just press this little button here. Okay, so right now it's in normal operation. Boom. Okay, so now I'm forcing it to the first part of the regeneration cycle, which is the backwash. And what you'll see is it's showing the backwash icon, and now it's counting down the minutes through the backwash. So this would then take, normally it would take 11 minutes, and once it gets to the zeros, it would then automatically go to the next one. I'm just going to make it do it auto uh, manually. Okay, so now it's going through. What's actually happening is inside the valve is turning so that the flow direction of the water is changing through the valve head. Okay, um, so this little icon shows that it is turning. You can see the little knob is turning as well. Um, and on the top, the little indicator you can see is turning to show where it is. There's a little, little pointer there, which is now showing it's on the regeneration cycle. You can see there also on the screen, so it's in regeneration, and it's counting down those 60 minutes. And then again, if you want to jump through that to, say, your brine, uh, your brine refill stage, you just need to press it once. Again, the little indicator turns to show that it's going there. Okay. And that's, that's basically it. Now it's just counting down through the, the brine. So this is the part where it's putting water back into the brine tank. Now just a few notes on this valve head. Um, it's very important if you can to install a surge protector um, because obviously there's electronic parts. If there is a power, power surge or a lightning strike, it can damage your valve head. So we always recommend putting a surge protector. Another thing is this valve head isn't really meant for complete out store installation. Now if you are planning to out install it outdoors, Try to have a cover of it or some kind of cover, um, especially because of these two components here. There are little gaps here that dust and, and moisture can get in. Moisture can get into the control valve. So if you are going to install it outdoor, try to cover it from the elements as much as possible. Um, any damage resulting from element damage isn't covered under any, any kind of warranties or that kind of thing. So that's just something to note about it. Um, otherwise, that's basically it, guys. So that was the F63B3 valve head. Um, if you want to know anything, please give us a call or send an email to sales at filtershop.co.za.